Hello, I'm Thomas Cox. Alright, here it is. Episode 2 of whatever it is I'm going to call it this show. And, well, I have the spinner ready and prepared. I'll spin it here in a second. I'll talk about whatever topic it lands on, and then afterwards I have a few housekeeping things to talk about. So here are the categories for those interested. We have nihilism, dinosaurs, the yellow wallpaper, turtles, cartoons, colloquialisms, beards, and zombies. Alright, let's spin it and see what this first episode will be about. Well, second episode. Doesn't matter. Alright, the category is going to be colloquialisms, submitted by Linux the Geek on Tumblr. To be quite honest, I did have to look up what colloquialisms were. I had a general idea that it had to do with certain words and sayings, but did not realize that they're region specific usually. Wikipedia defines colloquialisms as a word, phrase, or paralanguage that is employed in conversational or informal language, but not in formal speech or formal writing. Generally, colloquialisms are specific to a geographical region. I think colloquialisms speak volumes about human individuality. We all want to be ourselves, and what better way to distinguish ourselves from others except through things we say? And they range from things like a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, hair of the dog, y'all, dumb as a sack of rocks, wanna, gonna, and all sorts of different things like that. So for next week, I'm going to write down what colloquialisms I use, and I might talk about them in a future episode. Sort of like a follow-up to colloquialism. So go ahead and share your favorite colloquialisms as well. And then during the revisit episode, I'll probably read them out, because I know there are some pretty funny ones out there, like dumb as a sack of rocks. Then how about you send them in to me, and I'll read them during my colloquialism revisit episode that I'll probably end up doing now that I've talked about it so much. So that's my take on colloquialisms. They're words and sayings that help make people who they are, who they are. As John Green always says, use your words. Except when they're mean words, because no one likes mean words, and you shouldn't do mean words, because mean words lead to mean actions, and no one likes mean actions. Colloquial... To colloquialism... Colloquialism... Words are hard. Oh, you like my new hat? I think I'm going to have different hats in every episode if I can pull that one off. Huh? <laughs> Luckily, I do have a large supply of hats. Okay, now for the housekeeping stuff. So, first, Crater comes out on June 12th, which is a week from yesterday. No, today's Thursday. It's a week from t whenever Tuesday was of this week. I think I want to do a Let's Play of Dungeons of Dreadmore. And the way these Let's Plays are going to work, I'm going to take some of the larger subjects that you guys give me to talk about and put them on a wheel of their own, and then spin that at the beginning of every Let's Play, and then spin my Let's Play talking about that. The reason I'm doing it this way is because when I tried to do a Let's Play of me just talking about the game and playing it together, it really didn't work out very well, and so I scrapped that idea. And second, I have two suggestions for a name of the show. There's Bearded Boy Broadcast, and The Bearded Milkshake Man Show. So if you like either of those, let me know. And if you have ideas of your own, send them to me. I need to decide an official title for this sometime soon. I'll probably open it up as a poll somewhere, because I really don't mind what this show is called. I just want to have something fun and memorable. Three. I'm trying to work out what kind of schedule I should do for this show. If I should do an episode every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Or if I should do a schedule at all. I might just upload videos whenever I can get them done, but it's all up in the air. If you have any suggestions on that, please do send them to me. Fourth, what do you guys think about a summer reading project? As in, I'll pick a book that we should all read, we read it together, and then we talk about it in a discussion. If you like the idea, let me know. If you get enough of these I like the ideas, I'll decide on a book for us to read, and then give you about a week or so to get it. Fifth, I want one more really closed up bit, so here's this. While I was out and about, I found this. A big old bag of happy shapes. I thought something I should throw into this video, just because. So what kind of shapes make you happy? Well, that's it for the housekeeping. Keep sending in your video topic suggestions, and good day. And this is the Merry Ole Inn. Toodles. Alright, so I have a...